Rolls-Royce starts work on the first Ultrafan engine. Rolls-Royce has begun work on the first Ultrafan engine at its dedicated Dammel Works facility in Derby in the UK, the company confirmed on Monday the 29th of March. To become the largest aero engine in the world, the Ultrafan features a 140 inch fan diameter and forms the basis for a potential new family of engines capable of delivering a 25% fuel efficiency improvement over the first generation Trent turbofan Rolls Royce engines. Rolls Royce expects to complete work on the Ultrafan's demonstrator engine by the end of the year 2022. Notwithstanding recent talk of hydrogen and electrically powered aircraft, gas turbines will continue to power long-hauled airplanes for many years according to Rolls-Royce. The Ultrafan's efficiency will help improve the economics of an industry transition to more sustainable fuels, which will likely prove more expensive in the short term than traditional jet fuel, added Rolls-Royce. The company plans to run the first test of the engine on 100% sustainable aviation fuel. Rolls-Royce Civil Aerospace President Chris Collerton has said, Our first engine demonstrator, UF001, is now coming together and we are really looking forward to seeing it built and ready for test. It is arriving at a time when the world is seeking ever more sustainable ways to travel in post-COVID-19 world, and it makes me and all of our team very proud to know we are part of the solution. Several parties have contributed funding for the development of the Ultrafan demonstrator and associated technologies by Rolls-Royce and a variety of funding agencies, including the Aerospace Technology Institute and Innovative UK, the LUFO, and the Clean Sky Joint. The Ultrafan project is a perfect example of how we are working with industry to deliver green, sustainable flight for decades to come. Backed with significant government support, this project represents the scale of ambition for Britain's crucial aerospace sector. As engine build starts, suppliers continue to make other key parts for delivery to Derby. Work has started on the Ultrafan's carbon titanium fan system in Bristol, UK, and its 50 megawatt power gearbox in Dalowitz, Germany. Rolls considers the Ultrafan part of what it calls its intelligent engine vision. For example, each fan blade has a digital twin that stores real-life test data, allowing engineers to predict in-service performance. When on tests at Rolls-Royce new 90 million test bed facility, engineers can take data from more than 10,000 parameters detecting the tiniest of vibrations at a rate of up to 200,000 samples per second. Key engineering features of the engine include an advanced three-core architecture and the company's ALECS Lean Burn Combustion System, meant to deliver maximum fuel burn efficiency and low emissions. Carbon Titanium Fan Blades and a composite casing reduces weight by up to 1500 pounds per aircraft, while advanced ceramic matrix composites components operate more efficiently in high pressure turbine temperatures. Finally, it features a gear design that delivers efficient power for future high thrust, high bypass ratio engines. Rolls-Royce expects to continue testing Ultrafan's engines into at least 2023 as it commits to the market availability of a new product by the turn of the decade. The company told AIN in January after the Financial Times published quotes from CEO Warren East indicating it would shelve post-testing development until the launch of a new airframe model. The company said in a statement, we have always said that the eventual timing of Ultrafan's entry into service will be dependent on aircraft manufacturing requirements. We remain committed to having a product available to the market at the turn of the decade, but in the post-testing phase, we will continue to monitor customer requirements going forward, particularly given the impact of COVID-19. If this requires you to rephase the program, then we would do so. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you find it useful. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.